It's bourbon night. It's a flight fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, it is barrel proof flight fight number, number three. three. Yes. Two more to go. One more and then the finals. What do we have in this one? We have wild turkey rare breed at 116.8 proof, bullet barrel proof at 119 proof, maker's cast strength at 112.2 proof, and Booker's Batch 2017-04 Sip a While at 128.1 proof. Okay, so some ones hanging in that just below 120, yeah. and then of course the outlier. Mostly the teens and then Booker's. <laughs> Booker's, which Sip a While, 2017-04. Yeah. The winner of our 2017 Booker, well actually no, we opened it up to more. It was just our Booker's Flight Fight. Yeah, it was our Booker's Flight Fight. Yep, and it did, it performed well in our uh, Best of 2017 also. Yeah, it did. Thoughts? What you I think? mean, obviously I think that the Booker's is gonna jump out, but I don't think that that means that I'll choose it necessarily, because mm -hmm. I really do love Rare Breed. Um, I feel like the Bullet and Maker's Mash Bills might stick out a little bit. Exactly, uh, the only weeded Mash Bill being the Maker's Mark, mm -hmm. and then the highest rye being the, the Bullet. bullet. Yes. If you're new to the flight fights the way we do this, we are all drinking the same thing at the same time, but we don't know the order. Nope. What we're having will come up here on screen. Let's get started. Bourbon A. All right. A little smoky. Just a touch. A little touch of nutty. I'm getting mainly sweetness. It's got like a deep, real, like a real maple syrup. Mm hmm. Yeah. Not that fake stuff. Not that fake stuff. Like real Vermont maple syrup. Vermont. I don't know. No, it's interesting. In a cabin out in the. Winter in Vermont. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to dive in on the taste for All this right. one. Woo! Kind of maple syrup. Yeah, I was gonna say kind of oak. <laughs> what, yeah, what we were smelling. Yeah, <laughs> maple syrup spread over some oak. Mm-hmm. Kind of it's a got short. Got a nice sweetness to it. Short finish though. It does have a little bit of a short finish. Hmm. Wakes the tongue right up. It does. I mean, you can definitely tell it's high proof, but um, just not a whole whole lot to talk about. At yeah. least not yet. Right. I don't like to judge the first one too harshly till the second go around because it's like, oh, it went first, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's... Like, by the end, it's the least memorable, so. Mm -hmm. Perfume? <sighs> Perfume, yes. A little more floral. Pa parfum? A potpourri. But still some deep, you know, char kind of leathery notes, too. Oh, that oh. one's buttery. And Very buttery. Still nutty. Some nutty, some leathery, some floral. What a great little, mouthfeel. A little bit of bitterness on that finish. Just a touch. Not getting that. It's, um, yeah, this great mixture of high proof Whew. with this silky dancing over the tongue. Mm. That's real enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Real good experience. It's pretty good. Oh man, and the second taste, it just evolves. Kind of less nutty now. Mm. More. The more I taste it, the less nutty yeah. it becomes. But more. But it is still there. Again, just kind of sugary, syrupy. This one's, I think this you one's think? kind of, yeah, a little bit. More just like sugar, sweetness sting I get <laughs> on, a, the, on the on the front and middle part of the tongue. Mm, I get a lot of char. Oh, that smells real nice. Reminiscent of something familiar, but can't quite put my yeah, nose on it. Yeah, it's very, uh, very familiar. Mm. Dark, toffee, yeah. you know, cocoa. Coconut, yeah. Oh, uh, coconut. I think so. Coconut with some, uh, a little bit of lemon. Maybe some toasted coconut. Really? Lemon? Lemon. Give it a nice, nice whiff. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll pick up on it. I can't get that at all. Really? Huh. Well, you're wrong. Or you're wrong. That can't be. Or right. we have different senses. Nah. Different. So charred. And also oaky. Yeah. Oaky and a little smoky. Oaky and a little smoky. And a little bitter. And now this I do get that bitterness. But this is all hanging out in the very front of the tongue. It's kind of like ash on the finish. Whoa. I'm not getting that. It's so it's, dry and it's dry? I think it's dry and I mm. think it's like afterburnt taste. After, after afterburn. Uh, I don't know. It's definitely the most unique so far. Just hanging out in the front of the tongue. Uh, wait, I haven't even had my second Oof. sip yet. But I like it though. 
I think I need to come back to it. Steak? Ugh, that's that brown sugar, like. I smell like a bloody steak. That's disgusting. Oh, but just a perfect cook steak, uh, a medium rare steak. I don't mm, know about it's savory that. smell. It does smell kind of savory. Yeah. But I don't know about the steak. Oh, or barbecue. Maybe. But it also has like, yeah, like that caramelized brown sugar, uh -huh, but also uh -huh. in a savory way. Oh, like This one's making me hungry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Not, was I, not what I was expecting it to taste like, to be mm. honest with you. First pass through, I think, I'm thinking D. You like bourbon D that much? I, I do. I really enjoy it. That is so Ooh. just um, chill. It's such a good well, barrel proof. I like how this one is going more all over my tongue, mm -hmm. like versus the last one. This one's hanging out in the front, the middle, the back. It's got a really good mouthfeel too. It's just working its way over, mm -hmm. feeling it on the side. It's of agreeable, my and it's yeah. yeah. I feel like it's just a really well-rounded pour. Yeah. This is round. Okay, <laughs> get a little bit of like. Pecan, sugar, pecan. Yeah, there's a little bit of that going on too. Like yeah. it is a nuttiness, but it's like, a, you know. A sweeter dessert sweet, type of. Right, not like peanut. Mm-hmm. But we never judge on the first pass through. We don't, we don't. But let me ask you this before we uh, take a little break. Going through, mm -hmm. we kind of thought maybe there might be two bourbons that, that stick out. Yeah. Uh, the first being the Booker's because mm -hmm. of its typically nutty profile and it's the highest proof of this flight. Mm -hmm. The other one, I think, let's see what you're thinking, but let's see what you're thinking. But I was kind of thinking the Bullet, only because it has one of the more unique. Yeah. Profiles. But the thing is, is like I'm not really picking that up. Like yeah. if, if I had to guess at this point, I guess I guess. <laughs> what do you guess? Thank I guess. You. That I think that I would say A would be the makers because it was the sweetest, uh -huh. the first pass through, and I think I don't know anything else like at this point. <laughs> and I know nothing else. I mean, I feel like C and D are higher proof, so maybe one is the Booker's, one is the rare breed. B is just okay. I don't know. But that's not what this is about. We're not here to guess. We're just here no. to pick our favorite. Speculation. Speculation for entertainment purposes only. Now, what we do. We're dealing with uh, barrel-proof bourbons here. My tongue's fatigued. Yes, we're gonna let our tongue come back down to room temperature, as we like right. to say. Uh, so we're gonna take about a 20 minute break, but it'll be like two seconds for you all. Mm -hmm. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do these again. It always changes the second time through. You never know. You know, uh, and then we will crown our winner. winner. Yes, yep. so. And we'll have some cracker time. Yeah, we're gonna definitely cracker it up. We will see you soon. Feel like we're back to normal here, ready to go through these again. Definitely, just as sweet as ever. <laughs> Not bad. Again, I, I think that it does have that sweetness to it. There's nothing wrong with it. No, it's, it's maybe a, a little one note. The, it's a little one note and the finish is a little short for me. Like yeah. it, when we're at this level of competition, Chad. <laughs> when we're in the, I'm well, we're not in the finals. But. I'm wanting to see, you know, elevated. Some ele yeah, some elevated I flavors. Elevated. I want you to fight for that position in the finals. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's bringing it, some good things, but is it's too familiar. So it's very. I want familiar. it to branch out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad we agree. Okay. Good. It's still so More very of a, nutty. But a classic smell. There's a classic smell. Very classic. I'm really liking B. It just has such a great mouthfeel. It's really just. It's all over the tongue. Got a nice heat to it without being an obnoxious burn. I think that B is a little weird for me. Like it has good flavors, but it's a little flat. Like when a soda goes flat and you're like, it's missing that thing. It's kind of weird now. Like it's it's okay, but again, I just, I don't know. It's just kind of off. Just like a little off for me. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe on the finish. I yeah. feel like the palette um, is really good, but as it kind of settles in on the tongue, it starts to fade away. Mm -hmm. And if I'm looking for a negative, there's a slight synthetic-esque quality in its finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes a little funky. Maybe that's what I'm trying to describe. Yeah, like it's good at first and then you're like, but what is that? <laughs> Oh, this smells so much more than I did the first time. This smells like it has so much more depth than I got the first time. 
And so much more taste. Oh, see. Where oh. have you been? Woo! And this time it's really jumping out. It's syrupy. We, I think we said that the first time. Yeah, but it's also like a lot of other things too, yeah. but it's very hot. Mm, I'm not so much no? getting the heat. See, okay, the other thing I don't like about B is, and I felt this the first time around, I feel like my opinion of B affects C. <clears throat> Like the oh, aftertaste okay. of B affects C for me. So, so when well, you go through, you're when gonna, we go through one last yeah. time, I'm not going to try them in, in that order because I, I really think B is okay. Like no, I'm getting funky on my tongue. Yeah. Funky on my tongue. And it's really funky messing Cole with Medina. messing with my C. No, it is for sure hot. Ooh. But I like it. It's oily. It's got um, it's got some nutty and so caramely, but it's like really rich and yummy. It's I don't jumping know. out. It smells just as good as the first time. Just that savory, you want to mm. bite the glass. Arr. See, oh, but now that my eyes have been opened to see. <laughs> Maybe some front <sighs> runners are emerging. Yes, yes, I think so, I think so. Bourbon D also feels the heat. It brings the it heat. It does bring the heat, yeah. my yeah. tongue is definitely uh, feeling it. And I'm getting the hug. <clears throat> yep, strong Kentucky hug. Um, okay, so I think it's that time of the evening, where we go our separate ways, mm -hmm. we, we A-B test things back and forth until we get a order, mm -hmm. and then we'll have results. Order. Order in this flight fight. Okay. <laughs> so, we'll leave you. We'll be back. We're gonna try some stuff. Sometimes, you just gotta cracker it up. You really do. Cracker time. Uh, I've got a whole box. You're literally a whole box. I do have a whole box. box. Okay. Oh. I think we say this every time, but toughest ever. No. Well, yes and no. Well, I mean, for first and second for place. For first and second place. I think for both of us, it was. Very tough. Very Normally, tough. I have a hard time in general with like all four of them. This time, there were two clear front runners and two clear not front runners. Fighting for last. Right. Not fighting for last. Just fighting a, for fourth. Fighting for third. <laughs> ah, there you go. Fighting for third. Yes. Yeah, they weren't um, really fighting for fourth. Why would they do that? That's so that, silly. That made it easy. But then two of them were just so good. Yeah. That we went between them back forth, back forth, back forth. Talked about it. Debated. It was like a ping pong. Game. I cried a little bit. She cried. Had a consoler. Yeah, it was very upsetting for me to choose. Um, so in that way, yes, it was one of the hardest ones we've done. I mean, yeah, I don't even know what I mean, but I know what I mean. It's results time. <laughs> Looks like we have a little bit different results. Just a little. Just a little. We've got different third and fourth places. Mm -hmm. So I put letter A last, you put letter B last. That's correct. So, let us, I'll raise A, you raise B, and let's see. Last place for both of us, for me, Maker's Mark Cast Strength. Bullet Barrel Strength. The, okay, let me just say the reason why I put A in fourth place. Tell me why. I'll tell you, listen up. Um, is the sweetness was there, makes sense, it's a weeder, but it was just too sweet. It was like sucking on a ring pop. I was just, it was, <laughs> maybe not that, but it was sweet. It was too sweet for me. Too sweet. Okay. I'm used to you and you're not very sweet. That's true. So that- I'm more barrel strength. She's more barrel strength, okay? Yeah. So that's why I put it last. What what was going on for you so, with Bullet? Okay, for me, Bullet had an, like actually a really good palette up front, but then the mid palette and the finish were this like, funky weird I almost felt like it was if bourbon were like you you could have an all-natural bourbon an organic bourbon <laughs> and a processed burp like an uh, like unnatural synth you know synthetic. when we talk about like processed food versus the all-natural version okay and there's just something artificial in, flavoring right there's something okay. in there that tastes artificial flavoring I was picking up on that too and and that's kind of it ruined it for me a little bit when it when I compared it to a which was sweet sure and one note Although sweet in one note, I felt that A had better character and flavor in my tasted opinion. Tasted more natural to you. Tasted more natural to me. Tasted right. more like something I would want to drink over and over again. Okay, okay. But in the past, I have not disliked Bullet Barrel Strength, just in no. comparison. And we've kind of, because I feel like we've done this in another flight fight where we've had 
bullet barrel strength. Um, it seems to stand up better when it's not put against other bourbons. When it's just by itself, and that's all you're drinking, it really shines. It really does shine. there is a uniqueness to it mm -hmm. that uh, gets appreciated. Right. But when you put it next to other bourbons, that uh, uniqueness takes a turn. It does, and it's it's almost like it's get played, it gets played against it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that means that I put bullet barrel strength as my third, and you put it as, well, where are now? You put, and I put, my you put maker's, maker's cast strength as third. So, so that brings us to first and second. And it looks like same Z's. We have same Z's, which is cool because I think so far we've been different in yeah. the barrel proof. We know it's between Booker's and Rare Breed, which I don't think is so much a surprise. No, but but it is not a surprise, but it's a dilemma because we love both of them. We do. But I think that shows in that it's yeah. their first and second. So let's do first place. <laughs> So that means the one we don't name is our second place. Okay, we have the same. We so have the same. Letter C On three. is <gasps> Bookers! Bookers. Which makes D rare breed. I uh, know. But it was a struggle. Such a struggle. Like we just talked about too. It was A B testing these back and forth, back and forth, we back and forth. Talk Try about this one first, then this one. Try this one first, then this one. Try a have cracker water in, between. in between. Have yeah. a cracker, take five minutes, whatever. Uh, All right. Booker, <sighs> Sip of Wild, 2017-04. It won the Booker's Flight. <laughs> it won it did well. Flight Fight number three for yep. barrel strength. Um, and we'll see how it does in the finals, which yep. will be in just two more Flight Fights. Right. Well, that'll do it for us. Uh, everyone, if you like what we're bringing to the table, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Or hit that bell notification to know when we put out new episodes. Uh, produce episodes on Fridays, live on Sundays. We also have a Patreon page where you can become one of our Patreon Patreons. Patrons. Patrons. The patrons. You can check out the different uh, levels, get involved in the conversation, take place, uh, take part in polls. <laughs> Barrel proofs work. All that jazz. Check that out. Patreon.com slash night. Um, you can also find glassware and other such things that we use for our bourbon nights on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. Mm -hmm. And you can follow us on all the social media channels at it's bourbon night. Yes, you can. And that will do us one more, Sarah. And then the finals. Woo! Yeah. It's an exciting time to be in on it's bourbon night. It sure is. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Idiot, Stimpy. <laughs> yeah, that is really good. That was a good run.